S block of first PUC, redox reactions of first PUC, hydrogen of first PUC. Even though the chapter are small, at least one or two questions they will be asking from this chapters. Okay? This is a mixture of questions. Whenever I put a question, I will tell you it is which chapter, which concept it is related. And when I come to the D and F block chapter of second PUC, you know that it is having a very importance for theory wise 8 marks nearby and its objective MCQ exams, whatever it may be, the two questions will be asked from this exams. Okay? So in D and F, you should know the general properties, you should know the magnetic property, kinetic property, like special properties, then you should know about the two compounds potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate and in F block lanthanide and actinide contractions here you should remember the atomic number oxidation state electronic configuration and to calculate the Bohr magnetic moment these are the few words you have to read and make a point okay so now we are going for the first question it is related to reaction or chemical properties of transition elements. So you know that D block elements are called as transition elements as they are present between S block and P block and the metallic property gradually decreases to non-metallic character. Okay? The first question is asking which of the following one second. Okay, this is the first question. When steam is passed over red hot iron, the substances formed are means you should make one reaction of iron and steam. So you should know that water, if you write, it contains less molecules. When you go for the steam, it contains some more molecules. And second point, you should know that iron will undergo oxidation whenever it is reacted with the other compounds as it is a transition element, it will not reduce. If you see all the options, here the charge is plus 3, plus 2, plus 2, here somewhat ratio it is, okay. So all may be the option, but and second thing, here O2 is liberated, so from water O2 will be not liberated, so this option we have removed, but the answer is present between 3. As I already told, steam means more amount of molecules. So you should prefer the option where the charge of iron is more or the atoms are more. Hence, what I should write? See, F plus steam, that is H2O gas, is equal to. We will get the question that is uh, uh, product that is called as Fe3O4, which is called as ferrazoferic oxide or magnetite plus hydrogen gas is liberated okay and you have to balance this equation 3 Fe plus 4 H2O is equal to Fe 3 O4 plus 4 H2 and when you find the charge of this iron 3x minus A is equal to 0 x is equal to 8 by 3 that is 2 point something that is the main thing okay and this ferrosopheric oxide is the product when you react iron with the steam. But when you react iron with the water, we get a ferrous hydroxide or ferric hydroxide, which is a stable compound. Hence, the answer for this question is second option B. Next, we move to the other question. Which of the following solid salt on heating with potassium dichromate and concentrated H2SO4? Orange red vapors are evolved, which turn aqueous NaS solution yellow. So, here three to four concepts are mixed. You are taking one test tube, in that one salt is there, you have to identify that. You should mix with the K2Cr2O7 and H2SO4 and heat it. Okay? That time, some orange red vapors will be there. You should take another test tube that is called as NaOH basic solution and pass these vapors. That time the retinus will turn to yellow, he is asking. So, what is the concept? It is means 
if you know in practicals that is uh, sar analysis when you go for conformation test of dash radical okay that and you will do this as test okay but they were taking lead acetate which will turn into yellow precipitate so easily you can identify so this whenever you take the mixture of potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid it is called as a chromic acid mixture which is the best oxidizing agent so here you are observing four salt in that three are the halide salt so all three halides can take part in this reaction but depending upon the color which salt is suitable nitrate salt is not there because not containing the halogen the option may be between brcl and r and as you know that the test is called as a 